He comes from uh, Toronto. He's been featured on stage alongside such acts as Temptations and Ear Supply and Gladys Knight, among others. I met him this week. He's a peach of a guy and a very, very funny man. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Carter! Halifax? All right. That's fabulous. You know what? Tonight we're going to talk about uh, age. I'm getting older. I'm 49 now, and uh, I'm going to be 50 in a couple of months. And, you know, that's uh, not too bad, because I figure two years from that, uh, I'll be back in diapers. <laughs> and, you know, they tell us that when you're wearing the Depends and the Attends and all stuff like that, that they're discreet. How can they? You're wearing a gym mat around your crotch. How can they be, you know... Discreet. Nobody knows you're wearing them at the dinner party. No, they're just wondering why you're two feet higher off the table than everybody else. <laughs> As I get older, I find that I don't trust new fangled gadgets anymore. All the new stuff that's coming out, I just don't trust it. Like I do not trust low flow toilets. <laughs> I, I don't. You, you ever flush a low flow toilet? You flush a low flow toilet and you just stand there and go, I don't know if this is going to make it. And if you're at somebody else's house, you're going, where's that plunger? Because I just don't know. Because I could be pumping this handle to Thanksgiving, because I just don't know if this is going down today on this. Because I grew up in the 50s and 60s when they had toilets, my friends. Oh, man, one flush, 40 gallons. That was it. You could put in a 1965 Buick LeSabre. Hit the handle, two seconds later, that puppy pops up in the Gulf of Mexico. That's a toilet. That's a toilet. Now you hit the handle. Yeah, here we go. It's just dental floss, but here we go. See, with a lot of boomers, we're, we're, we're taking all that anti-depression medication. That stuff's selling like hotcakes, boy. That's a... Uh, Oh, I should have bought stock in that stuff. Uh, you know, like you're, and you see the commercials for these. 60 second commercials. 10 seconds on how it's going to make you feel better. 50 seconds on the side effects. <laughs> oh, you're not going to be able to sleep. You're going to have a rash. You're going to be irritable. And of course, frequent diarrhea. <laughs> Those were the four reasons I was depressed in the first place. <laughs> I don't need a prescription for that. I can dial it up anytime I want. Holy smokes, you try, and you know what? I try and calm down, because I realize, you know, I'm losing, I'm getting to that age where, where like I'm phoning friends up just to see if they're still alive. <laughs> you didn't phone me, uh, hi, I thought you were dead. I'll call you, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Maybe I'll be luckier, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll work out in my favor. Remember uh, a number of years ago, I'm around the house and it's February and I'm I'm just mad, you know. I'm just angry about being inside all the time and you know, just just angry about the whole thing. And um, then wife says to me, <laughs> "It sounds so much less expensive than ex-wife, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> it's not, but it sounds less expensive. It's, it's definitely not." Says to me. You know, what, you're a little cranky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send the kids over to your parents' house overnight, and uh, you know, I'll get a couple of nice bottles of wine, a couple of nice steaks, and you know what? We'll have a lot of fun this evening. And you know, just to make it special, I'm gonna go out and rent a movie that we've never seen before. It'll be great. Sound like? Sound great? True story. She came home with the movie Misery. <laughs> Kathy Bates, James Con Misery. I'm watching the movie going, oh honey, oh push the pause button in my ribs from the laughter. Uh, I'll be in the bathtub with a radio on my lap. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. Thanks a lot. Now you never figure out why I tell you to never to unplug the toaster when you're trying to get an English muffin out with a fork. You know, it's just... Oh, oh wait, there's more. Oh, yeah. You know, we have the best wheat in the world, and a lot of it. Can we not make an English muffin big enough to come all the way out of the toaster? <laughs> they always like, poke their head out of the toaster like it's Groundhog Day. You know, it's just, it's just... And we can't get it with our fingers because it's hot. So, you know, I'm sitting in the kitchen one day, and she's at the toaster, English muffin comes up, 
and she goes at it with a fork. You know, apparently she was the only one in the world made of rubber. So, uh, and I said to her, uh, don't you think you should unplug the toaster? And she says to me, with all the warmth she could muster, oh, you know her. I did, but this was more fun. You know? <laughs> so now I'm thinking two things. You don't want to listen to me, now I'm thinking two things. One, I hope you don't land on me when you get thrown backwards. <laughs> and two, the name of the first chick I'm going to call after the funeral. So... Uh, point in Jeff I just, oh man, come on folks, I'd never call somebody who was at the funeral. You know, I like, that would be tacky. Oh yeah, well you figure things are going to get easier, you know, things are going to be a little less stressful. I thought it was going to be a little less stressful once uh, uh, I got older. I found out, you know, the, 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 first of all, guys were, uh, were afraid of women. We are. Yeah, and any guy who says he's not afraid of his wife is, um, divorced. As a matter of fact, oh, way past the line. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm living in one room with a 25-watt bulb, and, uh, oh, yeah, and I got there because I went, yeah, sweetheart, you don't scare me. Okay, who took the house? <laughs> the long driveway, where'd it go? <laughs> Guys are afraid, man. It doesn't matter how old you are. You ever go over to your parents' house, there's dad in the garage doing nothing? <laughs> He's afraid to go in. <laughs> oh, man. My dad's 87. He's been through the Depression, World War II, Nazis, <laughs> piece of cake. You put him in a 2,100 square foot bungalow with an 88 year old, four foot 10 inch and shrinking, pissed off woman with a wooden spoon. He's in the garage going through a bin of washers he's been collecting since 1948. <laughs> Got a big glass of scotch, so big you can see it from space for God's sakes. Happy as the day is long. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want, man, if you want, pull up a glass there, laddie, that because we're gonna, have to, we're gonna go through a bit of washers right here. Right here. Yeah, this is all you're getting in the will, by the way, these washers. Guys are afraid. You can tell when guys are in trouble at home, too, because if it's raining out and he's outside watering the lawn, he's afraid to go in. Hey, Frank, is it? Shh. Just hand me my putter and pray for lightning. It'll hurt less. You better hold on the other end. You know she's in there on the phone to your wife. That's why you see guys spend an hour and a half putting out a sprinkler. You ever see a guy on the end? And we're not turning around because we know you're looking through the window. Have I? You know, we're not turning around. 